These are 20 times Steph Curry embarrassed his opponent. For three. Bang! I don't think I've ever seen that. No. Steph Curry is the greatest shooter in the history of basketball. And for number 20, we have to start with the time Steph Curry broke an NBA record. Alec Burks guarding it from the start. Wiggins again. Here's Curry for the record. It's good! There it is! The all-time three-point kick! We're used to Steph hitting every three he takes, but what we aren't used to is number 19, because Steph decided to destroy the entire Clippers team by himself. Fires a three! Oh, he puts it in! That move may be the greatest ever, but he one upped himself against the Clippers again just one month later when he almost ended Chris Paul's career. And the bench is loving it. Coming at Chris Paul, takes it out, goes down. Curry knocks down the jump shot. This is something special. This one crossover gave us some of the best memes of all time. But at number 17, Steph Curry pulled off something no one has ever seen before. It was January 5th, 2019, Warriors vs Kings. The score was 117 to 119. And when Steph Curry got the ball, he did the unthinkable. He did his defender so dirty that he broke his ankles without even dribbling. That's crazy, but Curry must have something against the Kings because for number 16, when they matched up in the playoffs, he had one of the most disrespectful celebrations of all time. The Sacramento Kings were surprisingly one of the best teams in the NBA, and they had a tradition of lighting the beam after every win. But unfortunately for the Kings, they ran into Steph Curry, and he had to completely shut the beam down after dropping 50 points on them in Game 7. Kings in the NBA during the regular season will have the biggest road win of the playoffs as Curry lays it up and in a 50-point Game 7 for Steph Curry. Breaking ankles, lighting the beam, Steph Curry isn't giving the poor Kings a chance. But at number 15, he didn't give his defender a chance either. The continuity that they have here and the right Steph can break any defender's ankles, but at number 14, the greatest shooter of all time is known more for having Curry range. They do have a timeout. Decide not to use it. Curry, way downtown. Bang! Bang! Oh, what a shot from Curry! With six tenths of a second remaining. From half court. It's gone! Curry. Wallace is on him. Got by Rivers. Good at the cover. But at number 13, he took Curry range to a whole nother level. It was game six of the 2015 playoffs, Warriors vs Grizzlies, and Curry wanted to leave his mark at the end of the third quarter by hitting the longest shot in his NBA career. Shot, Green weaving, trying to get the shot up, no call that way, Curry flips it the other way, and he got it! Curry the three! 62 feet, he basically shot a free throw from the other end of the floor. And that's not even the craziest thing Steph has done, because for number 12, during practice, he hit five full court shots in a row. some kind of record but for number 11 Steph Curry made his return to his hometown for the all-star game and all the fans remembered all the time they faced off in the finals and made sure to let him know an eight-time all-star from the Golden State Warriors Stephen Curry and, you know, and Steph knew at that moment he wasn't letting anyone disrespect it you, you call it a blessing I, I had a few flashback oh, nightmares oh, 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 oh,
Steph finished with 50 points, and the NBA record for threes made was 16, shattering the previous record of 9, and got the All-Star Game MVP. But for number 10, we have to go back to the time Steph Curry almost killed someone. Man, no one's safe. Poor guy broke his glasses. But ball boys aren't the only people who aren't safe. Because at number nine, Steph Curry put Julius Randle in a spin cycle. Give them credit. They got guys that are willing to take it and make it. That ankle breaker isn't the only thing that's wild because in number eight, we have Steph Curry's first game winning buzzer beater. Order Jr. the trigger man. They got Curry. He checked it. Steph for the win. Yes, sir. The closer. Check the clock. Monster step out. Ton of separation. Let's go home. Man, who said Steph is in clutch? But number seven is the clutchest shot in Steph's career. Aminu on Curry, behind the back. Three point is up. Oh! Steph and Curry! Golden State ends Portland's season. They win it 125. He shot that three right in his face. This man Steph is just different. But when Steph was really different was during the 2021 NBA Finals. Because when the Warriors lost in 2019, everyone thought the dynasty was over. Klay tore his ACL, and the next season, KD left for the Nets, and Steph only played in five games because of a broken hand. The Warriors became one of the worst teams in the NBA, with D'Angelo Russell leading them. It looked like their dynasty was over. I hate to say this right now, but to be honest with you, I don't see the Golden State Warriors bringing home another championship. You and Dominique Foxworth are going to sit on first take and say that Steph Curry will not be in the conversation for a championship yeah. in the yeah. next four yeah. years. And Green pushing. Six assists for Green. Curry along three. That's good! Steph Curry from way downtown! Some Curry chaos here on the third! How about Steph Curry? It's white in the air. Fly by. Curry to Peyton. Three-pointers right side is good. The Warriors are NBA champions again. That'll teach you to never trash talk Steph again. But at number five, some fans still haven't learned. Is Otto was just injured there. Look at that kind of effort though. Steph three. This man really pointed at the fan before it went in. But he wasn't the only fan Steph had to embarrass because for number four, Steph went on tour all over Asia in 2017. And Curry was letting everyone know why he's in the NBA. Oh. Half court shots like it's a layup. Now, we have to go back to the 2022 Western Conference Finals because for number three, after Steph hit back to back threes, he pulled out his own dance moves. Puts on the brakes and puts up a three. They really let Steph dance right in front of them. I just don't know which move is better. But for number two, Steph does a lot more than just dance because he's also the king of trick shots. The NHL has seen gestures for subject to ejection and arrest with penalties that may include fines and or jail time. Please report to that might be the craziest shot I've ever seen. For number one, Steph and the Warriors are supposed to stop him. He got tackled and still made it. Steph is just ridiculous. But what's even crazier is NBA players that came from nothing. Check it out right now. 